How was that? Okay, that's good. That's good. All right, so that's very accurate. Okay, that's good. So he could do everything. He looks like he can do everything. There he is, 99 overall, 99 speed, all kinds of 99s, Lamar Jackson. The dude's ready to go. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at all of his stats. 99 speed, 99 throw power, 98 throw short, 98 throw on the run. That means he's going to be able to run backwards and just be an absolute idiot. 99 excel, 99 speed. I think he might have 99 break sack also. So he might be a little bit like Michael Vick in the regards that, you know like how a lot of us complain that he Michael Vick never fumbles? That Yeah, he has 99 break sacks. So he has a lot of 99s. You could argue that he is the best quarterback in Madden right now, but we don't need to take it to that. We're going to go ahead and uh, jump into the gameplay and see what's going on with it. We're just going to jump right into a live uh, weekend league game and see what happens. Now, I, all I really want to do, you can see he clearly has the gunslinger and he has the, um, he has gunslinger and he has conductor, right? So all I really want to know is if he can make the throws. That's it. If he can make the throws, we're all set. Like, we have no issues. If he cannot make the throws, we're going to have a lot of issues. And that's pretty much what we have to, you know, try to understand right now. Is it worth it for you to go after him, or should we be raid selling him right now? The number one thing I'm going to tell you is, if you're going after him right now, his power-up is very, very hefty in price. All right? So... That's something that you're going to have to evaluate. I spoke about it in my previous video. I'll let you guys know everything that was going on with it. So if you guys want to go after that, that's going to be something that you're going to have to decide. Um, you know, are you willing to spend that kind of coinage? Because it's serious business. Like, it's really not a game out there. Um, you know, but again, this is my first game with him. So we'll be trying it out to see what's going on. Now, the one thing that I'll tell you, the most annoying thing about Vic was that he wasn't able to make a lot of throws. I think with this guy, he's 6'2". I think Michael Vick is listed at six foot, but they have him really small in the game. So what happens is he throws the ball to the back of helmets. He does a lot of weird things that, you know, we're like, yo, what is, what's going on with this game? But that's because he's throwing the ball so fast at a, at a, you know, at a high velocity and his arc is lower because he's shorter. And those linemen are kind of big. If you want to actually dissect it, that's what I think is actually going on because Cam Newton never did it and Josh Allen didn't do it. Now, both those guys were six five. Uh, this guy is obviously 6'2", so we're losing three inches on him. But I think the way that they have him built in the game, he's a little lanky, skinny, tall guy. You know what I'm saying? So he might be able, you know, he might be able to do a little bit more while being upright. You know, so we're going to see how that actually works out for him uh, as we go along with this right now. So the whole objective of this video is to see if Lamar Jackson is a keeper. Is he a keeper? Is he not? So we're going up against Patrick Mahomes, and we're going to see what's going on with it. Now, the thing that makes Lamar Jackson more, um, you know, better, you know, other than the fact that Patrick Mahomes has his throw power all in white, Lamar Jackson is just a speed demon. So if you're able to do certain things with Lamar Jackson, like if you could run outside the pocket, his spin move is like a 94, like it's weird. Even with that 94, I could have put zone run on him and got him his throw power by using a stadium and something else. Like I could have used the stadium and the uniform by like, you know, amping it up, but I didn't feel like I wanted to go that route, so I just gave him go deep. Obviously, he's above the threshold, the threshold being 88 for any player, so it is what it is. So now, what kind of, what kind of offense do we want to run? I'm going to come out and run my typical offense. I'm going to come out in tight, and I'm going to see if he can throw the ball, like right off the jump. Like, I want to see if he can throw the ball. So we got a streak going there. We got that guy doing that. Um, this guy, okay, he, he's doing some weird stuff right now. I don't think he had time to, you know what I'm saying, to do anything else. Let's see what, let's see what he's doing. Okay, he's just running well. Okay. All right, all right. Gunslinger, though. All right. Okay, so, yeah, okay, so he, that throw was pretty much a dot. That was a dot. Very, very good throw. Didn't see anything wrong with that to start, so, so far, so good. Let's see what we could do with it. I really want to test out his deep, um, the deep throw, but, all right, this looks like cover three. This looks like the perfect time to actually do it. Let's see. Okay, he's still not, okay, hold up. Okay, he's still not really doing anything. All right, let me see what he's doing. All right, okay. All right, he's not playing any D. He's not playing any D. Good job. And then he, okay, he held on to it. All right, so he's throwing. Pretty much, I didn't lose anything with Josh Allen right there. I didn't lose anything with Josh Allen. He's still able to get the ball out. It looks pretty accurate. So at this point, with the way that this guy, okay, he's just like, he's playing wide nine defense. Come on, man. Like, do we have a QB draw? Do we have a, um, do we have anything with the QB in this? Hold on, let me see. Because I don't know. Uh, run, QB run. Do we have a QB run? Okay, we have to go play type. QB, Q, 
run. Okay, hold up. All right, we'll just we'll, we'll just run the draw. I'm trying to figure out. Like, I gotta go by you know by player. Obviously, I'm gonna find it because I don't know. I'm running the Chargers playbook right now. I might have to go out of this playbook though, if I'm not able to um, get what I want. Bro, he just led the way and just ran. Bro, he, how did he, he he pushed him down to the ground and got right back up like that? All right, so what we got? Uh, special QB run. Now all we got is the QB sneak. All right, so we have we have nothing else going on. We would actually have to hike the ball and then just run like a maniac with him in order to get anything out of that. So we may have to we may have to change the playbook. As much as I like the Chargers, we may have to we may have to change the playbook. Because we're going to have to have, like, specific QB runs um, in order to make this work. Or we can just set it up and let the guy just, you know, whatever. Like, but we'll see what happens. But pretty much so far, I like what I'm seeing. Okay? I like what I'm seeing from Lamar Jackson. He looks extremely accurate. Let me know what you think so far in the comments. Like, because if he was playing like garbage, I would let you know. But he's making the throw a little, like, that. And also, remember, that's with Gunslinger. So, I got to see... When I throw the ball straight ahead, how it actually goes. And I, ha I actually only threw bullet passes to like try to see what the gunslinger was like. I have to probably experiment with some lobs, and then I'm going to be able to give you guys a further, uh, you know, further insight into it. So let's go ahead and let's set our defense up. I don't know what this weirdo is doing right now. All right, so he's going to be, okay, he's coming out doing that. All right, all right, we're going to do this. Okay, double A gizzle. All right, let's go. Let's see what we could do with this. All right, he's running that. Okay, this guy. This guy's gonna be being okay. He wants to be weird. Oh, okay. he wants to be weird all his life. All right, he's running the ball. What are you, what are you doing? All right, good job. I don't know. Okay, so you hiked the ball and started running. He hiked the ball and just started running away. I, what scheme is that, bro? What kind of scheme is that that he's running? All right, let me see. All right, go ahead, right here. All right, so that's two sacks. I guess he was go. He wants the inside streak out of four verticals, but we're not gonna give him that. That we can't give him. Like, that's something that we just can't. We can't give him that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just something that we can't. That's that's mine. How, how do you drop that pick? How do you drop that pick, though? And why are you shaking? I'm, I'm not going to fire you. Don't shake, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you do it again, I'm going to fire you. But right there, you're good right now. You're good right now. For, for now, though. For now. For now, though, you're good. Only for now, though. Like, seriously. Okay, that was a good play. That was a good play, though. That was that was a really good play by him. All right, so let's let's try this. We gotta see how his um. Let's see how he throws the uh the pass into the end zone right here. Let's see what this is about. Let's see what we could get. All right. How was that? Okay, that's good. That's good. All right, so that's very accurate. Okay, that's good. So he can do everything. He looks like he can do everything. Um, I, I like this card. Now, for those of you guys who are gonna be writing that he's gonna get raid sold soon. I can't say that you guys are not telling the truth. You might be right. Um, but again, for now, from what I'm seeing from him, he looks pretty good. We, we have to, you know, we have to give him his credit. Like, like Cam Newton. Cam Newton, you have to give Cam Newton his credit. I raid sold Cam Newton, but I raid sold him because I wanted another card. He actually was playing pretty well when he was about to get raid sold. All we need in this game is for the quarterback to actually be able to make specific throws. That high point, when we're in the red zone area, you got to be able to throw the bullet pass on the crossers, and you got to be able to lob it deep. And the only thing that we haven't been able to do right now is lob it deep. That we have to see, you know, going forward. If we, obviously, if you guys watch me live on Twitch, you're going to see it. I am going to be doing a special YouTube stream, so you guys will be able to, you know, a actively see it uh, very, very shortly. Um, if you guys are interested in doing that, uh, ex exclusively for my members, bro. Because my members are showing me so much love on YouTube, bro. If you guys want to become a member, you simply um, have to just um, hit the join button right there on the front of your screen. Or look in the description box and click the link. Everything will be there for you. Okay, bro, pick it up, pick it up. Oh, my. Good play. Good play. I just don't understand how Deion Sanders. Yo, Deion Sanders is a goon, bro. Like, he really just is. He really just is a goon, though. Seriously. Seriously a goon, man. That dude, bro, I just hit sticked him with Deion. That's so fake, though. He did it again. How does Dion get hit stick animations? That doesn't even make any sense, bro. But he, but he's getting them though. I don't understand how he's doing it. That's that's ill. All right, good job, good job. All right, so this guy sucks at Madden. So yeah, so he's done. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely leave a like, share, and subscribe. Let me know if there's anything else that you're interested in knowing about Lamar Jackson, because I think at this point.
that he's a really good card that you could possibly invest in. The issue is that his power up right now is 100 and something K, like 167. Like it's probably going to be more because once everybody knows that he really is that good, you know, people, more people are going to be going after him, obviously. So just keep that in mind. Um, he is going to be a card that you should probably try to get your hands on as soon as possible too. like definitely try to get your hands on him because I, I think he's absolutely hundred percent worth it. Uh, so again, um, in conclusion, let's just, you know, take a look at some of the numbers again, just so you guys have an idea uh, about how good this guy really is. All right. Every number that he has there is, is comparable to all the quarterbacks in the game, but his 99 speed and his 99 acceleration sets him apart from everyone else, including Michael Vick, because he's a right-handed quarterback, which means a lot more in this game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this content. If you did, you can follow me right here on YouTube, also on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter as well to know when I go live on anywhere I'm going live. And you can always member up by clicking the join button or looking in the description box and clicking that link to become a member of GMI's World. Thank you, thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time. One love.